Hey everyone, this is Chris, and it is 10.39 p.m. at night. It's April 6th, hopefully when I'm going to be uploading this a little later tonight, but it has been a while since I've posted, and I really don't know what I'm going to go, where I'm going to go um, in my YouTube channel, but... I do know one thing, and um, it's that my life has been transformed um, by Jesus just in these past couple of years since I've placed my faith in 2022. It's, it's definitely changed, and I'm not sure where my YouTube channel is to lead, but... If I could see it going one way, I could see it going in a way of just giving it up to God and encouragement for those who watch, prayer, reading. Um, I think that could be a great way of just reaching out and evangelizing just another another path another gate to evangelize and to spread the word of god and just bring encouragement so i'm going to keep this fairly short this video fairly short um but i wanted to start this video i wanted to to have this video be one where i experiment with with that idea and I'm just going to read a portion of a little bit of of Luke and then I'm just going to pray just my heart has been heavy today I came from a long day at work well I worked a lot yesterday and today I was just out in the sun and for those who don't know I work at Chick-fil-A and there are days where it's good. Um, there's days that God's really God has really blessed me in many ways. And other other days that God is letting things happen to build either my endurance or my discipline in certain things. So yeah, I'm just feeling heavy hearted today. And also excited um, for what God is going to lead me into in the future. But I do want to give this a shot. So if you all who are watching would like to turn to the same portion, um, doing the ESV English Standard Version, this is Luke 6, verse 20, and it's the heading, the Beatitudes. And, yeah. I'll pray right before, and then also I'll pray a little bit more after. So, Lord, I take this time just to give you the praise and honor and glory for everything, God, and for who you are how good of a God you are to me, to everyone else who you love so intimately, God. Um, yet, they, there's a lot who, who don't understand the love that you display to them, that you want to give them, Lord. Lord, I just know that your love is greater than anything I can ever imagine, Lord. So please, I pray that you would speak to someone's heart through this. And Lord, I love you, and it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed are you who you are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. 
Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and spurn your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, a reward is great in the heaven. For so their fathers did to the prophets. This passage, I was looking for just something to read, and I was just flipping, and um, I read I read this before starting the video, and I just was trying to find something that did speak to my heart today. Um, it's just it is sometimes that. The world will call you by your sin. Satan will call you by your sin. He'll call you by what you're ashamed to be of, what you're ashamed to have. But God, he calls you by your name. God calls you by how much he loves you and how much he cares for you. Just going through these beatitudes. Blessed are you who are poor. Matthew says, blessed are you who, who are poor in spirit. So it could refer to both, but just when you are low and you're at a state where you feel as if no one loves you or you are being called by your sin. You are be called, being called by what you are ashamed of. It puts you at a state of just feeling so much worse than everyone, but everyone else. Just a feeling of this is what people will know me by. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. This verse just, when you're in a spot of, of weeping, there, I remember in, in The Chosen, they had a line that said that usually when our hearts are grieving, it's when our hearts are most open and, and raw and just how laughter can go with weeping. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you. When people exclude you and revile you and spurn your name as evil on the account of the Son of Man. Something that is definitely hard at work is just when I am, when I'm trying my best, I'm trying to give it all to God just to enable me to speak with love to each customer. Like where I was at today, I was taking cash payments. So I was like, I was ordering the cars based on the lines which were split and they were coming in to merge into one lane. So I had to order which car was first and then also whoever had cash payments. Um, so just like telling people, how are you today? Asking them, how are you today? And then there are often times when they don't even, they don't respond, um, which is hard, but also it's, it's I'm used to it now. And, I mean, I shouldn't take it personally. 
against me. Who knows what the, they're going through at the moment, but it can make me question like, is what, is, is my kindness, is my ask, asking how they're doing, is that a wrong thing? Like it can make you question when you do right, it can make you, Satan can make you question whether that right is actually right. Satan likes to ma manip manipulate the truth just slightly to make it seem as if what you're doing for God is right or not. And Yeah, just when that happens, it, it, it is tough. So Lord, I, I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go into a time of prayer and just just pray a bit and see where the the spirit leads me. Lord, I, I thank you for this given time. I pray for anyone who is watching right now that through which the Holy Spirit works, that it would work inside their hearts, enabling them to experience the love of God, to know the true and one God in relationship and in truth, not in lie, not in religion, but a relationship with the Father. To know that the Son of God, Jesus, came on this earth 2,000 years ago to live the sinless life that he did as the purified lamb, the sinless lamb, the clean lamb that died on the cross a brutal death through scourging, through whipping, and to be nailed, pierced through the hands and hung on a cross. with the wood against his exposed back and just the lack of water and the, the inability to, to breathe quick or correctly. Lord, I, I pray for anyone watching that whatever they went through today, that they would know that God is with them in a clear way, in a loving and caring way. And I say this not just to make anyone feel good. Not to manipulate a truth. The truth is, is that God does love you more than you can ever understand. More can, than I can ever understand. It's an incomprehensible love that when it touches one's heart, it makes them think, it makes them really, really think about who they are and how much God does really love them. So Lord, I thank you. I thank you for this given time. I love you, God. I love everyone who's watching everyone in this world. I love everyone. Even when it's hard. Because God, you love every single person on this planet and you want to know them deeply. So Lord, it's in Jesus' name that I pray, amen.